Hi everyone, Dr. Nemechek here, and I want to discuss you know, how olive oil lowers inflammation. Okay, now uh, just as a quick review, the Nemechek protocol was designed to help people uh, specifically with autonomic nervous system damage in, in the original days uh, to recover. And we did that by lowering inflammation and science was telling us that the brain actually has a variety of uh, very robust repair and rejuvenation mechanisms uh, that can operate but, but fail if you have inflammation. So when we lowered inflammation, these turned back on and people recovered. We find it, has, it can help a wider range of things beyond autonomic dysfunction. And we've discovered it helps kids with autism and it helps people with chronic depression and bipolar and all, all sorts of neurological things. They all seem to be, the science is coming out that all of these seem to be uh, chronic inflammatory conditions. Okay, so protocol uses, very importantly, uh, rifaximin or prebiotic fiber called the inulin to balance the gut bacteria and stop inflammation from leaky gut. Uh, the protocol uses a high dose of omega-3s that you get from fish oil. Omega-3s are the natural molecules our body uses to turn uh, off inflammation, so it's part of the off switch. And then what the, the other problem we have is in our food supply, the high concentration of vegetable oils and then the high concentration of meat like chicken and fish uh, and so forth that are fed corn and soybeans are highly inflammatory. Now, vegetable grains, soybeans, corn, safflower, sunflower, most of those contain a high concentration of an omega-6 molecule called linoleic acid. Linoleic acid, uh, now in nature, we need a tiny, tiny bit of linoleic acid. It's part of the on switch for inflammation. So omega-3s are an off switch. Omega-6s, like a linoleic acid, are the on switch. And the only problem is we're getting maybe 10 to 20 times the amount of linoleic acid, these omega-6s in our food supply, okay? Um, the other problem is, so it's not just oils being added to like pre-prepared foods. It is uh, when you take animals that we are going to harvest their meat from and you feed them corn or soybeans, for instance, like farm-raised fish or chicken or pork, um, those oils are in the grain. If you feed a, a fish corn and soybeans, you're feeding them corn oil and soy oil, all right? And, uh, and that gets converted and is stored in high concentrations in the meat as another omega-6 called arachidonic acid. So the basic study is take a mouse, give them like 10 times the amount of omega-6s, either in the form of soy oil or, you know, their diet's healthy, but it's now the proteins coming from farm-raised salmon. And in only six weeks, you get some inflammation in the brain, uh, the blood sugars start rising, the mouse is obese, all right? Now, you leave them on the bad food, and if you add olive oil to the bad food, in two more months, the brain inflammation goes away, the obesity goes away, and the blood sugars normalize, okay? Olive oil protects you from these omega-6s in the food supply. And in olive oil, it's because it has an omega-9 called oleic acid. That's the magic. That's what protects you from this stuff. It's not the phenols. Phenols are these other plant chemicals that give the olive oil kind of a, a, a unique taste. They do have an anti-inflammatory effect, kind of somewhat like Advil, all right, for sure. And But they are not going to block this toxic effect from the food supply. Okay, you just need real olive oil with that oleic acid. Now, talk about real. Most of the olive oil in America could either be classified as poor quality or just frankly fraud. And so I recommend people use uh, olive oil that has a special certification on it. It's C-O-O-C. That stands for California Olive Oil Council. And you'll see this little seal uh, on the back of the bottle. It's the only seal in America where uh, these manufacturers have to send their uh, oil samples to these independent laboratories and prove the quality of the oil every year. Okay, so that's what that means on there. 
that somebody in the laboratory is verifying the quality of the olive oil. All the other seals are just kind of vague promises, and I, and I really don't put much stock in them. So don't waste your money on super high phenol counts. One, that can make the olive oil really unpalatable. And there are people selling a six, eight hundred phenol counts, a thousand, three thousand phenol counts. Don't waste your money on this stuff. And those super high ones, they might actually be toxic uh, at some level in the body. Nobody's ever tested that stuff. So um, just get a mild flavored olive oil. If you can get it at your market, great. But it's got to have that COC seal on there. All right. And the, oh, and just a reminder, this isn't some kind of thing I've fabricated in my mind. They added in the food pyramid in America that all adults should have two tablespoons of olive oil every day. That was 16, 17 years ago, something like that. Okay. It, it's since been changed. It says now two tablespoons of monosaturated fat. That's basically just saying olive oil. So I hope that's helpful to everybody. Uh, have a great day.